Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I am Hashim Ali Khan. So now in this video, I am going to continue the problems on depreciation, calculation of depreciation according to the provisions of Income Tax Act. Already five problems have completed till the last video. Now in this video, I am continuing the sixth, seventh and eighth problem. So if you have watched the earlier problems, definitely you can be able to understand. Directly if you join now, you will not be able to understand. So my suggestion, if you want the complete grasp on the subject of advanced aspect of income tax, go to the playlist of my channel, select the subject advanced aspects of income tax. Watch the initial first two, three videos. You know, you will know the provisions in uh, for Companies Act 1950. Uh, sorry, the Income Tax Act 1961 regarding how to calculate depreciation. Right. So before starting the problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. So take a printout, keep it ready before watching these problems. Take a screenshot of the solution on the board which I have written after that I'll explain all the points Come on viewers, now I am explaining problem number 6. See the 6th problem, Srimati Sneha Lata furnished the following particulars relating to her business assets. Calculate the amount of depreciation allowed for the previous year relevant to the current assessment year. Our current assessment year is 2021-22. The current assessment year is 2021-22. For this the previous year is 2021. Begins from 1st April 2020 and ends on 31st March 2021. For this current previous year and current assessment year, we have to find out the depreciation. Now, the WDV on 1 for 2020, beginning of the year, what are the WDV? Factory building, office building, go down building. Remember, building are categorized into two types according to provisions of Income Tax Act. That is residential building and non-residential building. For residential building, the rate of depreciation is 5% specified by Income Tax Act. For non-residential building, the rate of depreciation is 10%. And the non-residential buildings are factory building, office building, go-down building, etc. In this problem, the rate of depreciation not given. You have to remember what are the rates specified by Income Tax Act. So, Factory building, office building, go down building, all are non-residential buildings. On this, the rate of depreciation is 10%. And furniture, factory, furniture, office, any type of furniture, the rate of depreciation specified by Income Tax Act is 10%. This point you remember, right? So additional information is given during the previous year in the factory, Two more rooms were constructed at a cost of 1,40,000. In the factory building, two more rooms are constructed, additions, renovation will be done. So in that case, that is a capital expenditure. That's a part of the building only. So it will be added. It's just like purchase. Just like purchase of building, we have constructed the building. So it will be added. Now temporary sheds costing 90,000 were erected on 1st July 2020 to store raw material during the season. Temporary structure will also come under building according to the provisions of Income Tax Act. But the rate of depreciation on temporary sheds is 40%. That is not specified in the problem you have to remember. 40% is the rate of, rate of depreciation on temporary structure, temporary building. Now it is used for more than 180 days, so full year depreciation will be provided on this temporary sheds. In the office, due to fire accident, furniture worth WDV 25,000 is destroyed and the insurance company paid 12,000 as compensation. So in furniture, one of the furniture was destroyed. When the furniture is destroyed, no depreciation will be allowed, but the compensation received from the insurance company will be deducted. New furniture worth 40,000 order is placed, but the same is not yet received. 
न्यू फर्नीचर इज परचेज बट मे ऑर्डर इज प्लेस्ड बट वी आर नॉट रिसीव इट नो डिप्रिसिएशन वी अलाउड only when we receive the furniture and used in the business then only depreciation will be it is not received no depreciation that's it this is a simple problem small problem shrimati snehalita building used for non residential purpose that is factory office go down etc will have the same rate of depreciation and grouped in the same block because all are non residential buildings 10% is the rate of debt the building with 10% debt balance on 14 2020 beginning of the year factory building office building go down building given in the problem opening balances i have taken the total add construction of two more rooms that will be added that is the construction of the building 140000 there is no sale during the year no building was sold dash the closing wdv is 39 40000 This is the written down value at the end of the year, thirty first March, twenty twenty one. On this closing WDV, depreciation at the rate of ten percent will be allowed. So ten percent of thirty nine lakh forty thousand three lakh ninety four thousand finished. So one block completed building with ten percent debt. Now second building with forty percent debt. This forty percent debt will be allowed for temporary structures. In our problem, it is given. Temporary sheds costing ninety thousand were erected. So for building of temporary structure, depreciation is allowed at forty percent. So forty percent of ninety thousand, thirty six thousand over two blocks completed. Third block will be furniture. And already I told you any type of furniture, whether office or factory or anywhere, furniture the rate of depreciation is only ten percent for any case. So furniture with ten percent debt. So one for two thousand twenty twenty twenty. So office furniture, uh, factory furniture thirty thousand. Office furniture one lakh twenty thousand. Thirty one lakh twenty. There is no purchase of furniture. One furniture was there where order is placed, but we have not received. So we will not take no purchase. Compensation received on damaged furniture. Some furniture are destroyed. <clears throat> Insurance company has paid. They paid the compensation twelve thousand. Direct twelve thousand one lakh thirty thousand is the closing WDV. Written down value on thirty first March twenty twenty one. The rate of depreciation ten percent. So ten percent of one lakh thirty eight thousand thirteen thousand eight hundred. That's all. So three blocks we have prepared. Now notes for furniture destroyed. Compensation received is to be deducted, and WDV of that furniture is not to be considered. The furniture which is destroyed, demolished, discarded, the WDV should not be considered. Only the amount received from insurance company that should be deducted. That should be deducted. Here, insurance compensation received is twelve thousand. Deduct. Then new furniture is purchased but not yet received and used so far. Hence, depreciation is not allowed. Then last, the total depreciation on all the assets. First block depreciation three lakh ninety four thousand. Second block depreciation thirty six thousand. Third block depreciation thirteen thousand eight hundred. Take the total four lakh forty three eight hundred is the total depreciation for the current previous year. That's it. This is the problem number six. Now problem number seven. You see, Sri Mati Pushpa Lata is running bangle store business in Lord Bazaar near Charminar with the help of six employees. The return down value of furniture in the shop at the beginning of the previous year twenty one thousand. WDV of furniture at the beginning of the year twenty one thousand due to frequent power failure the sales showed a declining trend. Story is given for that uh, SSC due to uh, continuously power shut down the sales of the shop has come down. To overcome this problem as standby she purchased Birla power generator machine for twenty thousand on fifth September twenty twenty. From the date of purchase. till the date of the previous year 2021 there was no power failure as such the generator was not used calculate depreciation allowed on our business assets for the assessment year 2021 it's a very simple problem the ssc has purchased a power generator but after purchasing the general power generator it is ready for use but the, there was no power cut that's why throughout the year there was no power cut so the generator was not used 
Now the question arises whether when the asset is not used, depreciation is allowed or not. So Income Tax Act has given the provision that when we say used means intended to use also included. That means we have kept for using, using the asset, but the opportunity has not arised for using. The opportunity or situation has not arisen to use the asset. Then also depreciation will be allowed. In this case, Pushpalata has purchased a generator from the date of purchasing and it is ready to use. But there was no power cut. That is the reason why it is not used. So income tax access depreciation will be allowed on generator and generator will come under machinery and the normal rate of depreciation on machinery is 15% that is not given in the problem we must know it on furniture 10% on machinery 15% so 15% on the cost of the generator generator cost is 20,000 yes 20,000 so on 20,000 15% depreciation allowed. So the solution will be the term asset used also includes intended to use. When we are using the term used, it means intended to use also comes within the term used. That is where the asset is kept ready for use but not used. On such assets depreciation is allowed. The asset is ready for use but not used. In that case also depreciation is allowed because it depends on the situation. If the situation arises, then only it will be used. If the situation has not arisen, it is not used. Then depreciation is allowed. In this problem, the newly purchased asset generator is used for more than 180 days. And such depreciation is allowed for the full year. Because the machine is purchased and ready for use for more than 180 days. The full year depreciation will be allowed at 15%. Depreciation on machinery power generator 15% of 20,000. 3000 depreciation. Secondly, the furniture in the shop WDV is 21,000. Apart from this generator, the, Pushpa, the SSC Pushpalata is also having some furniture. At the beginning of the year, the furniture WDV was 21,000. The furniture rate of depreciation 10%. So 10% 10 of 21,000, 2100. That's it. So total depreciation 5100. 3000 plus 2100. 5100 is the total depreciation eligible to Miss Srimati Pushpalata. That's it. Now, next, eighth problem. On 1st April 2020, beginning of the year, the written down value of the machinery, 15% block, is 12,40,000. One block is there which consists of machinery with 15% debt. That is given. The WDV at the beginning of the year, 12,40,000. A new machine is purchased on 15th July 2020. We are closing the accounts on 31st March 2021. And she has purchased, the SSC purchased on 15th July 2020. That means more than from 15th July 2020 to 31st March 2021. It is more than 180 days. The full depreciation will be allowed on the new machine purchased 350000 out of which 80000 is paid by the government as subsidy <clears throat> 80000 rupees is given by the government this should be deducted 350000 minus 80000 15000 is spent for its erection <clears throat> the actual cost means the purchase price plus all incidental expenses so erection charges should be added 350000 minus 80000 plus 15,000 then on 15th Jan 2021 due to fire accident one machine whose WDV is 1,25,000 is damaged fully and the insurance company admitted the claim for 90,000 calculate depreciation amount for the previous year 2021 so during the year due to fire accident some machinery was destroyed WDV of the machine destroyed is given 1,25,000 but the insurance company has admitted the claim for 90,000. Now income tax act says the WDV of the machine which was destroyed should not be considered. Only the amount received from insurance company that will be deducted from the block. From the block. That's it. So the solution will be machinery with 15% debt. 
Balance on uh, WDB on 1 for 2020, 12,40,000 given in the first line, beginning of the year WDB. Purchase due during the year. Cost of the new machine 3,50,000. From 3,50,000, deduct the subsidy received from the government. Subsidy received is 80,000. Deduct. Add erection charges paid for the machine 15,000. Total is 2,85,000. Add up 15,25,000. From this, deduct. The compensation receivable from the insurance company for the damaged machine. For the machine destroyed, insurance company has admitted the claim. How much? 90,000. Deduct 90,000. So 14 lakh 35,000 is the WDV of the machine at the end of the year, 31st March 2021. On this, the depreciation is allowed at the rate of 15%. On machinery, 15%. So 15% of 14,35,000, 215,250. That is a depreciation. Now, note, when a plant is destroyed, depreciation is not allowed. The claim receivable from insurance company will be deducted. That's it. So this is, these are the problems in this so video. Sixth, seventh and eighth. Three problems I have completed. The next problem will continue in the next video. But I want to remind you that I have started a new channel by name Hans accounting institute that is the name of my second channel and please and this channel new channel i made for igcse students because i got so many requests from different students of igcse so i have started specifically for them please watch uh, subscribe the new channel watch the videos enhance the knowledge we'll continue the next problem in the next video